I am super stoked to be here with Keith Keller uh, from Australia, who uh, is going to be on the show, one of the speakers on social media so socials, on the fourth Wednesday of January at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Keith, you've done some amazing things this last week in social media. You're right in the, in the fires there in Australia. Can, you, can mm. you tell us about what you've been doing this last week? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about this. I'm in Melbourne. The air is almost unbreathable. And there's a few of us that have said, well, okay, well, this is the start. It's 2020. We've really got to pull up our socks and, and do something. So there's people in towns all over Australia um, saving kangaroos, feeding koalas, uh, you know, going out to get the wildlife in their shorts and thongs, in, in their ute. You know, there's people just pulling up their socks and doing the real work. And I say the real work because they're the ones that are on the front line staring at the fires and they are really huge fires, really scary. But what I decided to do, because that's what I do, is that I'm in Melbourne, Australia. I've got a bit of a following on social media. What if I galvanise them, mobilise them, inspire them to do something, either donate some money, run an event, retweet my tweet or just you know think about the process you know because we're all collectively one family if you like so just to give you some examples there are companies that you can donate to and that's what some people are doing giving money there are people that are running events and the money they raise goes to these charities they're doing the work and they're, and they're getting an amount of money and giving that money to the charity and there's other people that are in the gr on the ground actually helping the animals, you know, putting out the fires, you know, helping people recover. And social media plays into that. And to give you some examples, I, uh, I created a hashtag, two hashtags actually. I created a hashtag called BFA, Bushfire Aid, for the CFA, Country Fire Authority, because in Australia, our volunteer, our, our firefighters are volunteers. They've, they've taken time off work. They're not getting paid. Not only are they staring at fires 10 metres high, they're not getting paid for it. It's just shocking. <laughs> so all these guys are just, you know, staring at fires, not working, exhausted, not eating, not seeing their families. So I created a hashtag BFA for the CFA, and I'm just collecting all the good stuff. There's a million things that are bad, and I don't want to talk about those. I want to talk about the, the person that's organised a big concert in, in Sydney on the 16th of February. I want to talk about the cricket teams that have reformed and some older captains have come out of retirement and they're going to play a game of cricket. I want to talk about the people that are having comedy events. I want to talk about the people that are just doing things. So I, that particular hashtag has is just a, like a repository of really wholesome hope because I tell you what, it's not easy when you're staring at the, the smog and people can't breathe. So I want to be the I want to be the guy that people can go to every morning, almost like for a daily dose of uh, of help, of hope. And I'm very, very, very proud to say that since the sixth of January. I started this hashtag and 3.5 million people have seen my tweets. 3.5 million people. That's now, that's just me in a T-shirt in the suburbs on my laptop. Mm -hmm. Now, what's happened there in real terms is some people have gone to these events and given physical money. Some people have gone to the links I've shared and donated physical money, real money. Other people have gone to events and uh, there's rock stars that have helped out packing food, that have delivered foods in their own vehicles. Gordon Ramsay did a very big fundraiser uh, for the fires. And he, popped, he packed food in a box in, in a, town, a little factory in Melbourne. He, he's in Melbourne. He packed food in a box and he delivered it. Uh. So, you know, it's not just the internet and this sort of cosmic bubble. It's just, it's people that are inspired to act. And you can act in whatever way you can. You can donate money, you can donate time, you can donate your skill. And I think what we're going to do now, I think January 2020, we're going to look back in years to come to say this was the beginning of really a movement. It's been bubbling along for a long time. I've been doing Twitter since 2010. But... I think we've had this mobilisation at the moment. We've had this real sense that 
life is getting complex and really I think we're in danger. And if we don't do something about this, that we're all just going to slightly be at the beck and call of air we can't breathe, fires that would destroy our house. Now, there's a cyclone in Northern Territory. We have natural disasters anyway, but they're happening more often and they're bigger and more people are affected. And eventually we're just going to reach this sort of saturation where we just wake up and it's just the new normal that we can't breathe and our house gets destroyed and people are getting flooded out. And, and I, don't want to, I don't want to live in that world. I, I want to be the guy that gets in early enough to say, mate, we can do something about this. Yeah. Sure, we'll help the people that are suffering today, but let's look at the bigger picture. Let's yeah. get ahead of ourselves. Let's get ahead of the curve and say, we don't want to live in a world 10 years down the track where we wake up and it's smoggy every day. I have to wear a mask just to go and buy some milk, which is the truth. I have to wear, I have to wear a mask even if I go shopping. And I'm not, playing it, I'm not playing that sympathy card at all because it is actually happening and that's on the news. You can Google it if you want. You know, you've got a tablet, you've got something, you've got a PC, you've got a phone. Do something with the tools you have. 